Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 20th of 2022. Well, it is titled a view from Earth's shadow. So what do we see here? Well, we see the up up in the sky two of Earth's satellites. Now we talk about Earth, of course, as having one moon, but we have many satellites, the moon being the large natural satellite of Earth. But there are many satellites that have been put into orbit and that streak up above the moon is actually one of those satellites and in fact is the largest one known as the International Space Station. So International Space Station shines like our moon by reflected sunlight. So except in our solar system, except for our sun, anything we see in visible light is really uh, reflected sunlight. So anytime we look at planets or moons or anything else out there, asteroids and comets, we are all seeing reflected sunlight from them. So both here, what we are seeing is the sunlight reflected from the object back to Earth. Now here we see the International Space Station as it travels across, it zips across the sky as it orbits Earth once every 90 minutes. So this is a image taken over about five minutes, uh, looking at getting capturing when the International Space Station would be in that area. And that's something you can uh, look up and calculate. There are many calculators online that will tell you when the International Space Station will be visible from your location. So usually it will pass sometime you'll be able to see it sometime af shortly after uh, sunset or shortly before sunrise when the sky is still relatively dark but the space station is still being illuminated. Now the moon on the other hand is essentially always visible because it is uh, much further away only when it's on the other side of Earth of course when it rises and sets that it would not be seen. However it does disappear occasionally maybe a couple times once or twice a year when a lunar eclipse occurs and that's what we're seeing here. The moon looks that reddish color because it is passing into Earth's shadow. Now we can't see the shadow of our Earth, but we can see the effects when something passes into it. So here the moon is passing into the shadow. And instead of disappearing as it would if Earth had no atmosphere, it turns a very deep red. And that's because our atmosphere scatters light into the shadow. So instead of it making it uh, just being completely blocked out if the Earth were just a solid object with no atmosphere above it, we get that red light, the longer wavelengths are much easier to scatter into the shadow there. And they're the ones that end up illuminating the moon during a lunar eclipse, giving it that blood red color such as we see here today in this image, which also shows the International Space Station. So that was our picture of the day for May 20th of 2022. It was titled A View from Earth's Shadow. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Abel 7. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.